Hello everyone. I wanted to do a test today. Um, I had a couple of people ask me a question. They say, well, how is this unit going to run in the winter time with the driving rain and the snow getting on the unit itself? With this unit mounted between the grill and the radiator, um, you'll get a lot of rain on it, probably a lot of snow on it. So I wanted to do a, uh, a test today. I'm going to do this live. I've never tried this before. I tried to think of what the most extreme condition could be for a unit like this. And what I was thinking is it could be full of snow, packed full of snow so that there was there was water everywhere. So what I wanted to do is I'm going to take it, I'm going to put it in the water, submerge it in the water, uh, flip it on, and uh, see, see what happens with it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, this is the uh, prototype unit that's in all my other videos. I'm going to go ahead and fill the, fill the reservoir, and um, I've got the uh, power connected here already. Hoses are connected, and we'll go ahead and drop it into the water and, and uh, see what happens. I think one of the things I wanted to really see is if I would get any shorting, if the unit will short out or not. So my idea is with the water here on the plates that will create some kind of short. So that's what we're going to do in the test today. We just want to see how it reacts being submerged in water. Alright, it's not on yet, but I'm going to go ahead and take it and put it in the water. Alright. Got my amp meter. I'll go ahead and clamp it on. What kind of amps for pulling? Okay. All right, here we go. See what it looks like to be a <clears throat> little bit of electrolysis happening in here. Really nothing crazy going on. And the unit is producing, it's bubbling away, so. Um, and it's, uh, let's see, we've got, it's pulling about 13 amps, 13, well, it's moving up a little bit. Let's just say 13 to 13.4 amps, completely submerged in water. So this is my idea what would happen if the unit was completely packed full of snow, water, uh, harsh conditions. As you can see, it has no adverse effects on the cell at all. 13 amps. So we don't have any shorting going on at all. Um, Unit seems to be running fine. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull it out of the water and measure the amps there. So we're about 13, 13.1 right in there. 
seems to be fluctuating between 13 and 13.4. Now it's dropping again. All right, we'll pull it out of the water. And there you go. Right back up into the 13, 13 amp range. Well, it's a pretty good test. I'm going to go ahead and conclude that this thing. Uh, We'll do fine in the driving rain and snow. Um, if you have any questions or comments on this video, please uh, uh, go ahead and ask. Uh, I'll try and answer everyone's questions. Uh, thanks for watching.